Welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to February 1963, Muscle Builder Magazine. How I Developed My Mr. America Chest by Steve Reeves. Enjoy. I think you will agree that everyone admires and respects a man with a big muscular chest supported by a deep rib cage. In developing the pectorals, one must always keep in mind the fact that the pectorals are really two individual muscles closely adjoining each other. They are designated as the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor. The pectoralis minor, often referred to as the high pectoral, is not as easy to develop as the pectoralis major, more commonly known as the central pectoral. In my opinion, one of the best exercises to fully develop the high pecs is bench pressing on the inclined bench. I have given quite a bit of study and have experimented a great deal with the angle of the bench used. I have found that the best angle for me is 45 or 50 degrees. The incline press may be performed with either dumbbells or a barbell. My experience has been for the best overall development and results is to use dumbbells. Now, for the pectoral major. Comparatively speaking, the lower pecs appear to be much easier to develop. Therefore, I do not spend as much time on them, working them only occasionally. I have found that the best exercise to really build bulk in the pectorals are the dumbbell bench press and the barbell bench press with a wide grip. I performed the barbell bench press with a wide grip because it puts two-thirds of the total stress on the pecs and less than one-third on the triceps. To build shape and definition in the pectorals, the exercise I have found best are the laterals and the bent arm laterals with dumbbells. Most of you undoubtedly know that laterals are performed with straight arms keeping them at right angles to the body. Bent arm laterals are performed in the same manner except that the arms are kept bent at the elbow. Last, but not by no means least, in this article on the development of the chest, we come to the development of the rib cage. One of the very best ways I know to develop the rib cage is by doing breathing pullovers. These breathing exercises should be done with moderate weight for about 20 reps. The reason for the moderate weight is to make sure that it does not interfere with your deep breathing. Remember, to be most effective and aid in the development of the thorax, the breathing should be full and deep throughout the exercise. I perform all these exercises listed one after the other for about 12 reps with the exception of the pullovers where I perform 20 reps. I then repeat the sequence of the exercises for three to six sets depending upon my energy and interest. I concentrate on speedy reps and there's little rest between sets as possible. Please keep in mind that it takes work and a lot of it to develop muscle along with patience and determination. But I am confident that you will all agree that it is well worth the effort. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dream.